Well, hello everyone. It is the 1st of June and I just arrived in Glastonbury. I was planning to do this video for nearly eight years now because I wanted to show you around, show you a bit uh, or tell you a bit about our Druid gathering that is always happening in summer here. Maybe also take you to uh, Stonehenge. Um, but I'll start with a first little tour through Glastonbury High Street, High Street, not High Street, High Street and the shops here. So let's just go. So I just sat down at a gauntlet, which is a small pathway to the high street. This small pathway is also filled with amazing shops. Um, and I just want to show you a bit around to show you what's going on here. So, um, well, for those of you who have not been to Glastonbury yet, Glastonbury is a town full of witches' shops, um, crystal shops, and everything that you can imagine. It's even um, so much better than you diagonally, and um, I'm very sure you will love it here. So, now let me pause for a second because I'm going to High Street now and it's going to be loud. One of my favorite small little shops, the Goddess and Greenman. I already passed the bookstore. And everything smells like incense in here. So as you can already see, there is a lot of crystal shops. There are a lot of crystal shops. Besides those wonderful bookshops and another crystal shop. And here's the St. John the Baptist Church, which has this lovely spiral. So, because I was not speaking while I was filming this short clip, I'd had to do it right now. But what you can see here is the Glastonbury Holy Thorns, one of those Holy Thorns, and the church again. So, let us just head back to the High Street. I try to keep the camera steady and uh, stable, but it's not really that easy, to be honest. Um, so, and I'm on my way to our uh, apartment, which is at top of High Street this time. We already stayed in um, four different accommodations and each one was really lovely so I think I have to start filming now because there are people crossing by and I don't think they want to be filmed so let me just stop and take you a bit further later on oh and this tiny little gauntlet it's just straight across the street leads me to our apartment all the murals here which are very very lovely okay. so we're heading to back of high street which is not that interesting i would say but i'll show you our little community garden or terrace which i think you will think it's lovely here we are 
We are currently at High Suite 57, which is a very sweet apartment. Hope there's currently no one here. No. So, this is what our terrace looks like. was built this building is from um, late 17 like uh, late 1800s or I say I think she said 1750 and as you can see I have to squeeze in a tiny bit but isn't it amazing so as you can obviously see I am inside of the apartment right now. It has a base level with a queen size bed, the bathroom and um, it's, it feels a bit like a tiny home because it's all very like squeezed in but super cute we have um, there's an old like, it's all just decoration right now you can't use it anymore but there's a fireplace in the bathroom and a fireplace uh, beside the bed then you enter um, small steps which lead you upstairs to where I am right now, which is um, the small kitchen area. I do have a table here um, and yeah, well, a small couch where you can just chill and hang out. It's very, very quiet here, all um, very clean. And I would say that um, renting an apartment with a full kitchen is one of the cheapest options for Glastonbury even though the apartment might be slightly more expensive than a normal apartment or a bed and breakfast but if you do have a full kitchen um, there are supermarkets very very close and you can use them so I can highly recommend renting an apartment with a full kitchen especially in summertime where you are then able to also store your your drinks for example or some snacks in the fridge we will be heading to the queen of cups to um, see some friends today not sure if we will visit the um the springs but i am sure latest tomorrow um i will be visiting the springs because it's going to be my birthday and usually at my birthday in glastonbury i'm going to see some of the charity shops to do some um treasure hunting and after this treasure hunting, I'm very sure we're visiting the Wet and the White Spring and I'll take you um, with me. So let's see if I do film again today. So see you latest tomorrow or later on. Bye.